Привет, hello and bonjour, and welcome back to my channel, Happy New Year, featuring Pumba. <laughs> so originally I wanted to do this video at the end of last year, but life happens, I ran out of time, so this is my, can you this is my first video of 2021. I hope you like it. I'm basically going to be trying to very quickly go over all of my favorites of last year, some not so favorites, and just hopes, wishes, and goals for the new year. So without further ado, let us dive in. So ultimately, there's four categories. We got hair, skin, face, face makeup, and a couple of miscellaneous. All of the not so favorites are just, just in one little bundle together. So I'm going to kick off with hair. So very simple here today, two items. One is my holy grail item of my life. I cannot tell you how many times I've repurchased this product. And that is the Batiste dry shampoo, whichever scent, it doesn't really matter. Although I do like the blush one. It's one of the favorites. So this, I don't like, I've tried so many different brands of dry shampoo and some of them, although they make your hair not look so dirty or oily, your hair still feels kind of crap. This one is lit. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, 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 no. He wants to be here with me so bad. Oh, I know, I know, I know. So anyways, yes, I've tried so many brands and they just, they don't do it. This one is really like a shower in a can. I don't know what kind of sorcery is in this product, but it just absorbs everything. It, it feels like I actually took a shower. My hair is clean, dry, not oily. I mean, it's scary because then you're like, especially with COVID, you're like, mm, do I need to shower today? Yes, you do. You do. I love this. I love this. Next, we have a Russian brand. This is Siberica Naturals. So they basically do skincare, body care, I think maybe some makeup kind of balm items. And they use kind of Russian taiga products, natural stuff. And this is the Ugly Pika Oil Complex for Damaged Hair. So it is a hair oil. Basically, first of all, I'm very lucky that they sell it here in France because I absolutely love this company, but they don't sell it everywhere internationally. But this is a simple hair oil. I've only about used half and I've had it for most of the year, maybe half the year, but just two pipettes is enough to really do the trick. Basically when my hair is damp out the shower, I just scrunch it into the bottom half of my hair, let it air dry if I can. And sincerely, my hair feels so soft after it, like it's magic. Next. Skin care. So here I just have three items and also just a heads up, a lot of these products I have gotten in my glossy box and birch box subscriptions throughout the year. Yes, you wanna play? So the first one, I'll do it in the order that I would use it on my face. This is the Clarins Comfort Scrub. Oh, this first of all smells like heaven, but it's also a very fine micro crystals of sugar that scrub your face away and this is a product that I will 100% be buying the full size of as soon as this is done but it just so gently exfoliates the face and leaves it so glowy and soft and the smell is amazing and it's not drying at all that's probably because of the oil inside I don't know but it's just amazing super recommend next we have a clay face mask so these aren't always my favorite just because I'm a little lazy in that sense I don't really I can't be bothered to wash it off all the time like I don't I don't like that. I'm not a huge fan, but this mask has made me do it anyways. This is the Generation Clay. It's a long name. Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. <laughs> and it looks like this. This is the kind of deluxe sample. It's just amazing. I usually, I, I wash my face. I do that scrub, put this on, and my face glows. Glows after. It's so, so, so good. I've already used it probably even for this size five times, maybe six. So it really is long lasting and it just, I've, I've, I've tried other clay masks, but none of them have made my face feel the way this one does, so super recommend. And lastly, this one was a gift from Mama Dearest. Thank you, Mom. This is the Andalou Naturals Canacel Press Serum. So it's a hemp stem cell press serum. And I just, there's no texture I have ever tried that's been like this. I, this was one of the things that I was actually afraid and reluctant to use because I didn't want to finish it because I enjoyed it so much. It's just so emollient and it, it just melts in the most unique way onto your skin. My skin feels replenished after, so soft. I have to repurchase it as well, but it is amazing. That's all I can say there. That finishes the skincare. Let's move on to makeup. This is the biggest segment and I'll try to just do a kapow, boo, wah. 
because I don't want to bore people. So starting with, I guess the, the, we'll do the order that I would do my makeup in. First and foremost, this is a recent one and it was in the advent calendar for Glossy Box. This is the Pixie Glow Mist. Oh my God, like look how much I've used up since what, October? I think when I started using it. It's so good and so unique. It's a really fine mist with oils. Uh, I do it before makeup, after makeup. It just really kind of helps juice up my skin before so the foundation doesn't cake on, and after it just helps blend everything together. It's so good. You're so good. Next, we have two face products, foundations, kind of. One is, we'll start with the non-foundation foundation. So as you can see, I use this one up. This is the Pretty Fresh ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This guy is amazing. I, I mean, you can see, I have a fresh bottle waiting for me to start. It's so good, and especially, I mentioned this before, I live in the south of France, so especially spring to summer, even to fall, it's hot, and I don't always wanna wear a foundation. This is so lovely. It's, it's a nice, it moisturizes your skin, it evens out your skin tone, but it's not heavy, it's not cakey, and if I want a little bit of coverage, maybe I can put on a bit more of a powder over it, but it just, it just gives that lovely light coverage that's so nice right now. And if I'm not really feeling a heavy face day, one pump of this, even just with my fingers, does wonders. Cannot recommend enough. Next has been my favorite foundation of the year. I had heard about this. Again, it's not a brand that has been very, it doesn't really make huge waves in the media, but I was in the supermarket, I saw it. It shockingly was not completely overpriced because in France I find like, a L'Oreal mascara is like 16, 17 euro. Excuse you. <laughs> this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. Oh my gosh, I'm almost finished it. I'm in the shade Rose Vanilla. Oh, it's just so good. I even filmed, I remember, a review on this one on its own, but it just it didn't work out. Let's not let's not go there. But this foundation is amazing. I, I am a person who does a bit of foundation and then I do either a translucent powder or a colored powder, but a light pop after. I don't need to with this. It just it really does what it says. I read through the website, all of the little, I don't know, leave it, you know, gives you a glow, blah, blah, blah. It, it really does. It's just amazing. It has vitamins in it. It lasts all day. And it's just the most kind of natural skin-like foundation I've ever used. And again, 100% will repurchase. If you haven't tried it, I cannot recommend enough. Next, my favorite powder of the year. So Kiko Milano is an Italian makeup cosmetics company, and it's obviously quite huge in Italy, but also in general throughout Europe. And in France, it is everywhere, and I love it. And there's certain products that they excel in, certain that they're not so good at, eyeshadows. But face products, they they hit the nail on the head and sometimes it's not necessarily mind-blowing, but it's just really good solid products. And what I'm talking about is the Matte Fusion pressed powders that they have. Very simple, they have a lot of shades and it's just a wonderful powder. They they often release them as well in various collections throughout the year, so they have some slightly different packaging. I had the one from the Unexpected Paradise collection. It smelled like coconut and it had SPF because that was for summer. But all in all, they are just so good. They're a good price, they last long, and I think I've used up two or three of these already. Just really great product, really recommend. And on the note of Kiko being good in certain areas, they're also really, really great in blushes. So there is some blushes in a, in a palette later that I wanna show you, but one that I've been using consistently since I've got it is number one, Shadow of the Earth from the Unexpected Paradise collection. So I didn't really wanna to show too many products that were from limited collections, but with Kiko, a lot of them stay online for about one to two years after. So if you really wanted to, you can still get it. And if you can, I do recommend this one. First of all, again, it smells like coconut. And see, it has slightly different packaging. The standard blushes look more like this. I realized last year that kind of peachy, terracotta, taupey, nudie colors, those are my kind of blushes. I do still like to wear pink sometimes, but because I'm naturally pink toned, they're not always complimentary. This one is just, is that perfect summer little light flush of color that looks awesome and natural. Mm, and smells good. Next is a bronzer. This one was a surprise for me. It came in the summer mega bag for Birchbox and it's the hashtag give them la la bronzer in the shade Ibiza. I can't even, tell you how broken apart. This is the mirror. It, it fell apart fairly early for me. I don't know if that was just bad packaging or maybe 
rummaged around in my drawer too much, but look how much of this bronzer I've used up. Yeah, it's, it's dead. I should probably let it go, but I don't want to. It was just the perfect shade for me. It had the perfect kind of airiness with the slight glow, because some bronzers are so shimmery and I don't like that. This one was just been perfection for me. If I had to, I would definitely repurchase. It's certainly not matte, so if that's what you are looking for in a bronzer, don't go for this one. Generally, as, as bronzers go, this one has such a lovely form. I don't know, I've never, I've never come this close to finishing up like a blush or a bronzer, so I think you can tell that I find this really good. <laughs> All right, next, let's do, let's do, let's do lips. Lips. So this is another holy grail item for me. I've repurchased it, I think. I must have, maybe I haven't, but I 100% I will. This is the My Lips But Better everyday go-to lip liner and this is in oh snap by ColourPop. it's what are they called lippy stick liners whatever obviously it was about this big when i bought it it's just it's it's my lips but better if i want to overline my lips a little bit but still look natural this is it in general their formula for lip liners is amazing super smooth glides on really well long lasting and just a really really great product next for lips again kiko milano they had this amazing Unexpected Paradise collection in the summer. It was my second video and to date my highest viewed. So thank you for everybody who's watched that. But originally I bought one single lipstick from them. Again, they are still available online in certain countries. This one, it's kind of like that concealer lip situation from the 2000s for me. But when I blend it out, I do a tapity tap tap. It becomes the most natural peachy nude for me. And being of a paler complexion, I find some of them, often they're like too pink or too brown, and this one is just the, my, my go-to everyday light nude lip. Absolutely amazing. I've, I've, I've used a lot of it, and the packaging is sleek and cute. And then recently, as they usually do, when the season's over, they have a big sale of the previous collection. And so I got another shade. This one is number one. This one is number seven. Seven is this gorgeous, I don't know, like kind of terracotta almost brownish red. But again, it, it quite fits my skin tone. And you know, if you compare it to a different red, you can tell the difference, but it's just, it's the most wearable red lip I've seen in a really long time. And it's again, lasts all day, just really beautiful product love these lipsticks a lot of their lipsticks actually are quite great and last for the lips we do have a gloss glosses are coming back so of course you may have seen i'm a huge fan of friends so when makeup revolution did a collection i bought just about everything there's a few things i missed but i did get all six of the friend character lip glosses but of those only one was my favorite and that is mr joey triviani so joey i really love because it is a pink nudish color it actually comes off more pink on camera but that's exactly the thing when you put it on it is a bit more nude it's a bit more wearable and it's kind of like that everyday pink gloss that's so flattering for a lot of people hello okay <laughs> this one i find i can pair with a lot of looks and that is why i love it and i keep reaching to it formula is nice smells really really good as well hello <laughs> not much more to say there as far as single eye products go this is something I got recently, so I did order the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop collection and it came literally like two, three days before I was um, going to Canada in December. And I have been using some of the products, I'll be doing a review shortly, but one I took with me because I was obsessed and it is the Super Shock Shadow in the shade Mycelium. As you can see, I've already hit pan on it and I've had it for like a month, if that. I think less than a month. It is just, I mean, Super Shocks, we all know and love from ColourPop, they're amazing. But this one is just so gorgeous and unique, especially as a topper, because it kind of has a, a, a shimmery gold general color, but with like silver reflex. And especially if you wanna put it on top of like a dark shadow, or I, I don't know what, it's just, it's so universal and gorgeous and stunning and I can't get enough of it. And I will probably be repurchasing once they all restock. Next for brows, generally I just use brow pomades. Uh, I'm not particularly too, too fast. There's nothing extraordinary about 
a lot of the ones I use are just really gray and Anastasia Beverly Hills ColourPop Makeup Revolution. But this product has been a bit of, I don't want to say game changer, it's a game changer, but it has been an awesome product where I was like, oh, I didn't realize I needed that, you know? This is the Luna by Luna Clear Brow Gel. I also got it in a glossy box and it just, how do I say this? Obviously I'm blonde and so my eyebrows look a little bit more sparse than someone who has deeper hair. So especially towards the end, I like to deepen my eyebrows and then generally touching your face, I tend to wipe that off. But with this, I just, I brush the tiniest amount through my brows. They stay all day. It makes the pigment underneath stay all day. And it's just, it's like brow wax without the wax. I don't know, it feels much more natural and better and I just absolutely love that, so. Next for eyes, we have another holy grail item of mine. This is the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I think this must be like my seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth eyeliner from NYX. These are just so amazing and such a good price point. Of course, I love the Kat Von D, what was it, tattoo liner in Trooper, but that one's quite pricey. And especially in Europe, things are like, maybe they're $28 in Canada, but they're like 28 euro here. And I'm just like, I can't. <laughs> But this one is very, very similar. It lasts all day, waterproof, black, and just stays. And it's such a good price point. I think it's maybe 10, 12 euro. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Just get it, try it. If you haven't, you'll be amazed. For mascaras, we have two. This one, again, generally speaking, Kiko has some of the best mascara formulas and brushes that I have used. If I pick a new mascara there, I'm very confident that I'm gonna enjoy it thoroughly. Maybe it won't be mind-blowing, but it'll be a great mascara. This one, however, is one of my favorites. This is the Long Eyes Plus Active Mascara. Also, they always have sales. Why would you not give it a go? Anyways, this one's like well dead. I kept some empties for this video, as you can see. I destroy the packaging a little bit but I just I'm a person who loves really long lashes not necessarily volume but this one does a little bit both but just you just have beautiful like long lashes and it's so simple it lasts all day it's sleek packaging it's affordable I it's just such a good mascara I've repurchased it twice now probably again I have a spare I, if you haven't I cannot recommend this mascara enough it's bomb.com and for the higher end of mascara this was recently in a gosh some sort of boxer bag subscription it's the Marc Jacobs velvet noir mascara oh my gosh I didn't realize I could love a new high-end mascara again my absolute favorite is Perversion by Urban Decay. I don't know how many hundreds I've spent on that mascara back in the day. <laughs> this one, this is, it's my new love. It's my new love at Sephora. It's just so, so good. The brush, I love it more when it's the kind of original type of mascara brush, not the silicone ones. The formula's great, it stays all day. It goes on so easy. I don't have to do 12 coats to see something. It's just, it's a wonderful mascara. Phew. Finally, onto the eyeshadow palettes. So I have narrowed it down to three. Just three. But let us dive in. There's a lot, let, let me be clear, there's a lot of palettes that are really, really great. These three are just ones that, if I don't know what I'm doing, if I don't have a plan kind of thing, I kept naturally reaching back to them. So the first of these palettes is Makeup Obsession in collaboration with Aradi. This is the Dusk palette, and oh my goodness. It's just... These are the colors inside. You can pop them out, which I think is super cool and rearrange them if you want. But just overall, these colors are so great. And for me, what blew me away a bit more is that the color story is, it's just a little bit different. I haven't seen a palette like this before. We've all seen our neutrals. We've, you know, seen whatever trends there are, but this one just stood out to me. And the colors are great. The payoff is great. I'll say they are a little bit more harder pressed than your average palette, but it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. It's so good. I'll leave all of my palette reviews down below if you want to check them out, but this one is really great. I can't recommend enough. The price point as well. I think it's like 10 euro and I got it on sale for less. Super great palette. Very pigmented, beautiful. Get it. Next, my my child childhood heart is just screaming. This is the Beauty and the Beast palette collaboration with iHeart Revolution again, both actually all the palettes 
or makeup revolution but this was a recent release and you would have seen usually for 18 pan eyeshadow palettes i do three makeup looks in my review i was so inspired that i did five also look at the packaging it's like a little book so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So you have three blushes, three highlights, and 18 eyeshadows. And at first glance, first of all, I was a little, I don't want to say confused, but when I saw the photos online, I was kind of like, they're not organized in a way that necessarily my, my organized brain likes. But the more I kept looking at it, the more I was excited and inspired to try something new and mix some of the colors. And the, the pigment is absolutely stunning in this palette. Watch my review if you haven't seen it. It's just so, 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 so good. And the highlights are really nice, but the blushes, I really, this was the one I was mentioning before, Maurice. It's, I wouldn't have thought because, right, it kind of looks brown. What? It's like this taupey nude color, but when I, when I put it on my face, it really looks like, is she wearing blush or is she just, does she look that way? It's just, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color and I really cannot recommend this enough. I didn't get the other princess palettes because I'm trying to cut back on how much I purchased, but minus 10 regrets with this one. It is stunning. If you can get your hands on it, I recommend it so much. And lastly, probably maybe not surprised because I guess I featured this in two videos. We have the Friends Makeup Revolution palette. <sighs> For Makeup Revolution, obviously. This one, I just, it has three highlighters inside and is it 21 shades, I think? Something like that. And it's just, mm, I said this before, it's the most unique neutral palette I've seen every single time I went into this palette. I wanted to try a new shade. It really inspired me, even though it's neutral, to do something a little bit different. The colors are similar and different enough that you're not just going back to the same three every single time. It just really is an all-around great palette, and especially for someone who's such a huge fan of Friends. It's, it just hit the nail on the head. I absolutely love it, and it's so pretty if you want to just plop it on your desk. Cannot recommend this enough. It is still available and restocks regularly. I've seen it online recently and in some shops, so if you can get your hands on it, if you like neutrals, if you like Friends, you're going to love this palette. And then, um, what did I have? Oh yes, I had two kind of miscellaneous items. So number one is, <laughs> this is gonna sound weird. It's the scrubby palette from Brushworks. It's the one that you can plop onto your mirror with the little, I don't know what this is called, the sticky thingy. But it, it, it's made for your face, but that's not what I use it for. I, I, I plop it on like this, put a little bit of soap or brush cleanser, and in seconds, in seconds, my brush is clean. Like I've struggled with finding the right kind of pad to wash my brushes. This is so easy and simple. Like it, it, everybody knows the struggle of cleaning your brush. I guarantee you if you have this, it's gonna make it so much quicker, so much quicker. And lastly, from the Friends collab, again with Makeup Revolution, the door frame mirror. I get, maybe I just haven't had a handheld mirror before, but basically since the day I purchased this, I've used this every single day. It's just a really great mirror. Is it magnificent? Magical? No, but I don't have one. I love friends and it's a good size. I really love it. Okay, so that concludes favorites. Let's very quickly touch on um, my not favorites. I just have four products. These are just still present with me. There were others throughout the year I haven't liked, but I'll just bring up those that I have. And keep in mind, I also am someone who likes to work with a product, even if it's maybe not the easiest to work with. So, it's just with a heavy heart that I present you these ones. So I'll start off with the most controversial Soap Brow by Makeup Revolution. So obviously soap brows, wax, whatever you want to call them, laminated brows, very popular right now. The Makeup Revolution one is like this and it comes with this little toothbrush. Anyway, <laughs> my first problem, if I'm trying to do this, like let my fingers catch and scratch here if I'm trying to actually use this brush. They did not think this through whatsoever. Second, this gets clogged up immediately as you can see this was, I washed it after each use. And, and it all, because of the angle you're at, clumps up on one side and then you can't brush it and then it's too much wax, becomes a mess. Don't like it. <laughs> I've tried it with a spoolie too and there's just something where, I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong and I need to practice, but even with a spoolie it's either like my hairs are completely straight up or 
there's too much wax, there's not enough wax, even if I wipe off the excess and then do my makeup, it gets in the way and it messes up the consistency on my face. I'm not a fan. I'm not. I'll give it another go, but want want for me. Next are two lip products and they look a little bit similar and that's not my main concern with them. Overall the formula is nice, it's nothing crazy special. So here we have the Unexpected Paradise lip gloss from Kiko Milano in this shade. And then from the Disney collab again, Princess and the Frog lip gloss from Makeup Revolution. So colors, gorgeous, they're really nice on their own or as a topper as they indeed say. My problem lies in, in the doe foots. They are so small. They're so small, like, that's the size. This one here. I have to dip into this product five, six times to cover my lips. What's that about? I don't like that. And in general, I mean, as nice as, as the colors are, the formulas, it's, it's nothing special. It's really nice, but nothing special. So that paired with the doe foot makes me just sad to not really ever want to reach for them. You come for now? Good. My potato baby. Oh no no. Yes, your life is so hard. Oh your life is so hard. And last I did have to pick a palette to 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 share my my disappointment. So often as well, you'll do a review, you'll play with a palette, but the more you try it, the more you're like, uh not really vibing with this. And I'm sad to say that it is the Phoebe palette from the Makeup Revolution Friends Collection. So at first I was really excited and I tried it and I made a look, but as I kept going back to it, I kept struggling more and more and more with the pigmentation of this palette in that there is none. Sorry. I really do love the Monica and Rachel one, but I just... I... Like you can barely see anything, even even with an eyeshadow primer, like nothing comes up. Like I've just put four shadows here, you could probably barely see anything. And again, I, you know, I'm trying to be positive and I'm like maybe somebody just really, really doesn't want a lot of pigment and that's fine. Like a lot of Asian cosmetics are like that as well, right? But Makeup Revolution has been known to have really good pigment even if it's neutrals. And I just find myself really not wanting much to do with this palette unfortunately same with this glitter science boy it's gorgeous but it's kind of neither here nor there i yeah i just it's not my favorite i'll still i will i still will use it i really want to try and make the best of all the products that i have or maybe i can give it to someone but yeah just a little bit for that all right you guys that concludes I mean, this portion of the video, I just wanted to also very quickly say thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed and joined me on this journey, who's commented, watched my videos, whatever it is, followed me on Instagram. I, I've been wanting to start this channel for years. I cannot, I cannot tell you. I, I, years. Probably 10 years. I'm gonna be honest and I finally have been given the opportunity kind of the silver lining for me with um, with COVID was that I was now at home a lot and I finally had the time and opportunity to do this which despite how terrible of course this this year has been in COVID I'm very grateful for the opportunity to have been able to start this channel and I really thought I was like maybe if I'm lucky I'll get 200 subs by the end of the year but as of December 31st I actually had 335 or something like that which might not seem so huge to a lot of people but to me it's a really really big deal and I'm just so grateful to everybody who's been watching and subscribing and liking and if you haven't already please do it now and join me I'm very excited for the year ahead I have lots of fun things planned and I just I really really hope to continue growing at this pace if not faster according to social blade i'm not supposed to hit 10,000 subscribers until early next year but my goal fingers crossed i'm really gonna work hard to get that by the end of this year i just i really i really want to be on this platform and succeed and grow so let's let's do this i know 2020 was really tough for a lot of people. So I'm just sending my warm wishes to everybody for 2021. I hope you have a wonderful year. I hope the global pandemic goes away. I hope things get better in general for everyone. And let's just keep our heads high and try our best to progress into the positive future. <laughs> 
All right, you guys, that's it for me. If you have any questions, if you want to just say hi, if you have any comments, let me know down below. Let me know what your favorite products are. Maybe I'll give them a go. But yeah, that's it for me today. As I said, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And other than that, you can catch me on social media at Slavic Chic. And I will hopefully catch you guys in the next video. Bye!